Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me walking and I'm back with Celeste Weekends. That's right, I didn't forget. I just got super busy with doing the Samba stuff. So, we're going into Reflection. I do hope to beat Celeste pretty soon. Let's hope that this level does not take me too long. There's a lot of death, there's a lot of pain, and man, hopefully we can get it done. If well, from what I remember, the last couple chat, the last two, I think we're on the last two chapters. So let's go into it. And if you like this, remember always leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. But Theo, you're awake. Am I? I'm skeptical. I had a messed up nightmare. Yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yep, it's all coming back to me now. That actually happened. Thanks for getting us out of there. I'm glad we were in this together. I don't know what I what I I don't know if I could have done that alone. Uh, how long was I out for? It must have been a few hours. Man, what a ride. Tell me about it. Are you okay? I mean, aside from the existential crisis, yeah, I'm fine. What's really going on here? Clearly, this is a normal mountain. What's really going on here? I should have told you sooner. Back at the old ruins, a part of me escaped from a mirror. A part I'm not very f proud of. I swear I dreamt it. You think the mountain made her real? Yeah. She's been haunting me this whole time. She lashed out at Mr. Oshiro. I think she was the reason the, grand the gondola stalled, stalled out. And she was there in the temple. Why didn't you say something? I wouldn't have gone that- I would have gone into that temple if I knew what, what this mountain was capable of. I tried to stop you. You could have mentioned that your de your demon double ganger was on the loose. Come on, Theo. You know how crazy this sounds? I didn't even believe it myself. Okay, okay. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Okay. Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Honestly? You remind me of my sister. That's adorable. What's she like? Oh, you'd love her. Actually, you might not get along at first. But you'd eventually love her. She'd be like a total- she's a total literal rock star. She's a musician? That's so cool. Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. Alex is just amazing at everything. She's studying to be a civil rights lawyer. Wow. How do I remind you of her? You both live so deep inside your own heads. Oh. Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to be. I can see that in you too. I wish I could say the same for myself. Thank you for leaving me back there. Thank you, Theo. For believing in me back there, I mean. Believing in you was the easy part. I wish I could have helped. I was pretty useless stuck in that thing. You actually helped a lot. Honestly, I couldn't have made it without your support. Your sister sounds great. I really remind you of her? Are you kidding me? You're the ones who's dead set. You're the one who's dead set on climbing this mountain. And you don't even know why. That's classic, Alex. I'm just teasing you. Why are you climbing the mountain anyways? You're right, I don't even know why. I just had to get out of my head. I'm stuck in a cycle. You're preaching to the choir here. I've had many a soul-destroying day job. Work is fine, actually. I just... I'm going crazy. I can't stop thinking about dumb crap that doesn't matter. My brain fix fixates on these stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is I'm barely holding it together. 
Sorry, that's pretty rough stuff. Can I help? You're already helping. Feels good to say it out loud. You don't talk to anyone about it? No, not really. My mom knows I get depressed and have panic attacks. That's about it. No wonder you feel trapped. How do you cope with anything? I drink, mostly. I get mad at people on the internet. Um, who do you think built the temple? It looks ancient. It must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. Yeah. This mountain has uh, has meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why that crazy old lady lives here. You ran into her too? What's her deal? I think she's just a mean person. But she does seem pretty content living out here. What brought you to the mountain? How about you? What brought you to the mountain? I'm just kind of bumming around. As usual. I started this new job in Seattle. I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing with my life. But I hated it. So I quit after a week and hopped to a uh, hop to bus to Canada. I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky it sounds. It just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Not really. Everyone's so patient with me. Though I guess I am putting a lot of pressure on myself. People always think I'm comparing myself to Alex, but I swear that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out where I'm going. You said you wanted to feel lost. Maybe you should just embrace that for now. Maybe. Uh, would you... Would you mind talking about what depression is like? It sucks. Yeah, but what does it feel like? Alex struggles with it too. I really want to understand. We can talk about something else if you want. It's like... I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic, yet I feel exposed. I remember feeling normal. But now it feels just out of reach no matter what I try. Then again, I was probably always messed up. It just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. Whatever happened, I'm sure it's not your fault. I guess I thought that I could. I don't know. I'm just floating in this abyss, swimming in a random direction, hoping that I find something. That's really why I'm here. But I can't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. Maybe this is all pointless. Madeline, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. Yeah. Look, you're a good person. You're a little intense, but you're a good person. I think you're just trying to push out that rut you're stuck in. That's totally legit reason to climb the mountain. Maybe. That's helpful. This is part this part of you that haunts that's haunting you. Maybe she comes with the territory. So you think I'm stuck with her forever? Well, she's stuck with you too. That's not helpful. So you want to destroy this So you want to destroy this part of you? Won't that hurt you too? If I don't, she's just going to keep bullying me. She says she's protecting me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. She'd be some kind of twisted defense mechanism. Honestly, who cares? She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you can learn to control her instead. The feather helps a lot. Thanks for teaching me that. Just one of my grandpa's many nuggets of wisdom. Are you, cl 
Are you close to your grandpa? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. That's just how it is. All you can do is stay positive and live a meaningful life because that's what he would want. I'm so sorry, Theo. Thanks. What else did you learn from your grandpa? So much stuff. Actually, he was the one who told me about Celeste Mountain. He always said that this place changes his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. I felt like he was telling me to come here. Grandpa said that the mountain was special. Do you think he went through the temple like us? Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? He never talked about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa was as messed up as me. His experience was probably less... Violent. He found the mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like before that. I wonder what he learned about himself here. Why not take a vacation instead? What do you mean? Dude, you need a change so you chose to climb a mountain. Why not do something relaxing instead? Go to Hawaii or like, take a bath? I guess I feel I need to accomplish something. It sounds like you have enough on your plate already. I guess it's kind of extreme. But that's how I am. I need something to challenge me. I can't just do something a little bit. It's all of me or nothing. I want to remember this night. You know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. I thought you'd never ask. Hmm. This game's so amazing. You know, despite everything, I feel pretty good right now. Wait a second. You're going to reach the summit tomorrow. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to pull, put this all behind me. I'll be cheering you on. We should get some sleep. Okay, good night, Theo. Thanks for being cool. What can I say? It comes naturally. Feather. Whoa. Whoa. Feather. Seems like The northern lights are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. Where are we? We need to talk. Okay. I finally stand who you are. You're not my true reflection. I'm not? You're everything I need to leave behind. You're cruel, paranoid, controlling. Why would you say that? No, it's okay. I understand now. I don't need you anymore. So you're just abandoning me? I'm setting you free. We'll both be so much happier. You're so... So... So stupid. You think you can just leave me behind? You think you can blame everything on me? You think you're above me? Answer me. Calm down, please. Calm down? Breathe, Madeline. Use the feather.
You're gonna think about a feather to stop me? You are not above me. And you can't climb this mountain. It's time to accept that. Madeline, what's happening? Ah. Ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Hmm. All right, and that's the end of today's episode. We'll actually play. <laughs> that was a pretty heavy story beat, so we'll end it right there and we'll continue tomorrow. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Goodbye.